I'm back with the Galaxy Tab S6, and today I'm looking at Samsung DeX for the first time. I've got my Bluetooth wireless mouse, I've got a keyboard attached, and I'm ready to go. So what I'm really looking at today is if Samsung DeX is a viable alternative to something like a Windows PC, a Chromebook, Mac OS, Am I really able to be productive on here and use it like a traditional computer? So we're booted up. First thing I notice is that there's some app icons on the desktop, like a regular PC. There's a DeX button on the bottom left instead of a start button. So I guess you can exit DeX here. This is probably my app drawer. We've got recent apps, home button back. We've got some more apps down here. On the tray here, we've got some other notifications, your keyboard, volume adjustment, and screenshot. That's convenient. So first thing we wanna do is test out the Samsung browser and see if you get a real desktop grade browser experience. So we'll boot that up. We've got Google. Let's open up a few tabs. So it is loading up the desktop versions of websites, which I always like. I hate mobile versions of websites. Let's open up a few more. Oh, not in the... So it's working pretty smoothly. Let's go ahead and open up some more. Reddit. Pretty fast. You can flip through tabs. Let's open up Slick Deals. See what's on sale. Anything good? Probably not. Why don't we open up YouTube? See how the video quality is. Let's load up one of my videos. and we are streaming in 4K. Running pretty smoothly, I think. Not bad at all. Let's crank this volume up a little, see what it sounds like. Same or similar price as the Tab S6. Now I know, of course, the Tab... That sounds pretty good. All right, so we've got a 4K stream going. We've got a bunch of tabs open. And when I click out of the tab, it looks like it pauses the video. Yeah, it pauses it, but when you click back, it restarts. That's a nice feature. Okay, how about Gmail? How will that fare? Let's go ahead and open up Gmail and see if we can get our Google Docs. Okay, so we're in our docs. Oh, and this works exactly how you would expect. Got some scripts here. Oh, it works pretty nicely. Typing is fast, responsive. So in terms of using a real desktop web browser, this Samsung browser actually does an excellent job. Highly commendable. Let's see what else we've got. Let's close out of here. Oh, actually, let's minimize it. We've got our Gmail app, which we can open, maybe. No? Let's see. Ah, yes, there we go. So that's open. We can get our Play Store. Looks like we run into a little bit of a glitch, maybe. Or I just don't know what I'm doing. Let's see here. Now I imagine that not every app is gonna work perfectly with Samsung DeX just because it's you know, pretty new and not everything is optimized for this. So the Play Store doesn't really seem to work, or it's not working right now at least. My files, you can quickly just drop files in here. 
pretty convenient. I imagine if I had Microsoft Word, that would also be very easy to use as long as it was compatible with Samsung DeX. So Samsung DeX is looking pretty impressive, especially if you want a more desktop-like experience with your tablet. If you do most of your computing in a web browser like Google Docs, content consumption with YouTube, Reddit, whatever else, you can definitely make this a viable option. Let's see if something else will work on here. Well, this would be pretty impressive if we could get this to work. Let's give it a shot. Quake.js, will it run in the Samsung web browser? It's loading up. Wow, not bad. <laughs> I killed somebody. Oh man, I'm terrible. Oh, the mouse is not acting as it should. All right, so not perfect, but it's running, which is impressive in and of itself. Oh, I'm getting killed. Okay, just the fact that this works at all, I'm super impressed. I mean, there's probably some tweaking that I could do with the mouse to get it to actually work, but I'll take it. Let's get out of here. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of limitations to this, mainly with software optimization and software apps that are actually supported in Samsung DeX, but if you're mainly using the web browser, it works really well, surprisingly well. It was very smooth even with five or six tabs open. I didn't have any issues. If you're doing some word processing in Microsoft Word, I'm sure it's great for that also. You can quickly drag and drop your files in here, you know, plug in a flash drive. If I had a wireless keyboard, I could do that. You can also go ahead and plug this into an external monitor, you know, when you dock your tablet and then you'll have a desktop-like experience that way. Overall, Samsung DeX works great, much better than I was expecting. Now, is it gonna replace Windows or Mac OS? Probably not. Most of the apps aren't supported or optimized in DeX, but the ones that are, like this web browser, work really, really well. You're getting a much more desktop-like experience compared to something like iPad OS, especially with the full mouse support going on here, which is just awesome. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, bite that subscribe button and leave a comment below. See you next time.